Aloha everybody and welcome to Beach Walks with Rocks. Today is show number 67 and you can find us at beachwalks.tv. ago during the video blogging week I started talking about sunscreen and is going out in the sun dangerous without wearing protection and I've been doing research on it and I'd like to fill you in on that so uh, I think you might be quite surprised I know I'm having a really hard time wrapping my brain around it because I've been using sunscreen religiously for many many years thinking that I was doing the best thing possible <laughs> for my skin. Now I have my doubts and I'm going to be actually changing my strategy. So the scoop is that there are three kinds of ultraviolet radiation that come down from the sun. UVA, UVB, and UVC. They don't know too much about UVC so I'm not even going to talk about it. UVA is a very long wavelength light and it penetrates the deepest into the skins uh, through the skin and into the body. It has the uh, ability to suppress the immune system and it also uh, has the ability to cause DNA changes and is believed to be the most dangerous type of ultraviolet light. It's also the kind that, you know, you can get, even right now, the sun is going behind a cloud, so clouds and ozone don't provide any protection from UVA. The UVA penetrates and comes through the atmosphere regardless. So, uh, UVA is what you get more of when you are in a tanning bed. So, really not a, a good idea. Second type is UVB. UVB is a shorter wavelength spectrum and it tends to uh, stop more at the surface of the skin and it's what actually causes sunburn in people. Most sunscreens can block out most, if not all, of the UVB, therefore preventing sunscreen and creating, or prevent, sorry about that, I got too many things on my mind. The UVB, sunscreen blocks the UVB, which causes sunburn, so it gives us this false sense of security that if I'm not getting sunburn, then my skin is not experiencing any damage. And in fact, your skin is still experiencing damage because they don't have a way, even though sunscreens, I looked at, I had three different kinds of sunscreen at my house, and I looked at all three of them, and they all said the same phrase, UVA slash UVB protection. That's a very loosely defined word. So. There is no way to measure how much UVA we're be is being actually being blocked. So the concern is that blocking too much UVA might actually be a problem. So first problem is you block all the UVB, you don't get a sunburn, you stay out in the sun much longer than is maybe appropriate, and you get this false sense of security. Second problem is that if you block UVA, this is like the other extreme. If you're afraid to ever go in the sun and you don't want to go in the sun at all and you're wearing sunscreen all of the time and you're blocking the UVA, you may actually be making yourself more prone to certain other types of cancer, breast cancer and colon cancer in particular, because your body needs vitamin D, which the sun produces, and without enough vitamin D, you're more prone to breast and colon cancer. So it, it becomes this very kind of complicated situation, but I'm going to sort it all out for you. Third complication is that the chemical ingredient in sunblock that blocks the UVB is generally some variation of either PABA, which has mostly been banned because it's carcinogenic, PABA, but now they use uh, oxybenzone, and octosylate, I don't have all those names right, I'll, I'll print them for you and add them to the show notes. But these are chemicals that are, have been shown to produce cancer. So not only 
by using a lot of sunblock and staying out excessively long periods in the sun, are you preventing your natural response? In other words, sunburn is a way of saying, hey, you've been in the sun long enough, get out. You're blocking that natural mechanism, but the chemicals that we use to block that natural mechanism may actually be carcinogenic in and of themselves. So, what's a person to do? A couple of things. One, stay out of the sun between 10 and 3 as much as you can. Try to get your sun in the morning, which is what Lexi and I do. Mostly because of our job, not because we're so smart, by the way. I just have to get to work. <laughs> The second thing is to allow a natural tan. A natural tan actually provides protection to the skin. So it's, having a tan is not necessarily a sign that you're uh, flaunting your health. It might actually be a sign of, of good health. And getting your tan nice and gradually is another positive effect or action that you can take. Next thing that you can do is to find a sunscreen that doesn't absorb the UVB. The chemicals, like oxybenzone, they absorb the UVB light rays. And they produce, you can walk through, it's fine, a chemical reaction in the skin that may actually be causing cancer. So what you can do instead, if you need to be out in the middle of the day, or you do need to provide sun protection, is you can use a sun reflectant. So zinc oxide, titanium oxide are mechanical blocks that you can put on the skin that reflect the light back up, preventing it from penetrating your skin. They are those things that look kind of pasty white, so you won't look your most glamorous, but you will be giving your skin the optimum skin protection. Of course, you can also wear clothing if you have to be out in the sun working or or playing whatever you can wear protective clothing clothing and there's a lot of clothing now that actually has sun blocking built into it not all clothing will block the sun's rays as many of you have probably experienced so I hope that that gives you a little bit of uh, clarity and for those of you that say oh but sunblock it's got to be good for me the medical profession has been promoting it forever Yes, they have, but there are many in the medical profession, and I'll provide links in the show notes to some research studies that are changing their opinion on this, that we've given people a false sense of security. And I just have one word to leave you with, and that's cigarettes. My parents grew up smoking cigarettes, not having any clue the damage that cigarettes cause to our health. And I wonder if that's what we're doing right now, slathering on sunscreen so that we can stay out in the hot midday sun for hours and hours at a time, and inadvertently be causing damage instead of protecting ourselves from that. Anyway, thanks for joining me today. Love to hear your feedback and what you think about this. Uh, you can contact me at Rox Skype at Roxanne Darling. You can also call us on the conch shell at 949-544-1456. Aloha, and my time is up. I'm going in the water for a swim, and then we're heading out of here because it's approaching 9 o'clock. Aloha.